live from the north side of Chicago, Wrigley Field, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Minnesota Twins and the Chicago Cubs. Book Shami alongside Chris Singleton, singing a guy who could change this game with one swing of the bat, Patrick Wisdom. He, of course, leads their team at home runs. Yeah, Book, he's been such a force at the plate, and it seems like every time he connects, the ball is traveling out of the ballpark. So when you have such a threat like that, other guys in the lineup should get good pitches to hit because they're trying to get those outs instead of having to face him in a big situation. Just about set to go down. And today's starter, Justin Steele. Well, he's putting together a really nice season on the mound. ERA in the low threes. Very respectable when you consider. Guys are looking to do damage. They're not trying to just walk and hit singles. They're trying to hit homers and draw walks and score runs. So when you have a guy that can limit the other team from scoring more than a few runs, that's really tough to beat game in and game out. The wind and the pitch. On the ground. On the run, sends it over to first. One up, one down. And now we take a peek at the Twins lineup. And a big part of it, a guy with a great track record, Carlos Santana. And boom, he's the table setter for this offense. Team leader and on-base percentage. I mean, that just gives your teammates plenty of chances to cash in and bring them around to score. Man, I used to love when I had a guy out in second base or third base. Easy to get those RBIs. Game after game, you know a guy like this, what he's going to provide and the opportunities that other guys are going to get in the lineup. Carlos Correa in the box with one away as he takes ball one. That catches the outside corner, and it's one and one. Correa, the former first overall pick from Puerto Rico back in 2012, and he blossomed into the American League Rookie of the Year in 2015. That's down and in. Chase that One time. Three. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. One out, base is empty. This to center field. Bellinger coming on. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. That's out number two. Third, the third baseman, Edward Julian. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Here's the third baseman, Edward Julian. Oh. That one missed. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. But why the kick the pitch? So a foul ball makes it one and two. A little early on that fastball, I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off speed pitch on this next one. Foul ball still a one and two count. Two outs, space is empty. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Okay. Next offering is down low. This guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Outside, you, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Here's Byron Buxton. And a foul ball.
two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Steele keeping an eye on him. And a pinch. Just off the outside edge. And one and one. And now the lefty runner takes off. The There's a ball. He's Goals. Dead. Too late for the throw. Safe. That was close. But StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. Oh. Just missed. If you're going to be a championship type of ball club, you've got to hit with runners in scoring position. And after last night's struggles, I'm sure these guys are chomping at the bit to have this kind of opportunity here early in this game. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Gomes makes the play, and it's out number three. Twins wind up stranding one. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at the friendly confines. And on the hill, Joe Ryan. What do we need to know here about the right hand? Well, no doubt about it. He's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down. Now, he's got good stuff. He's just got to be able to have confidence, trust it, and really go after hitters. Not we nibble. Go, go. Trust that his stuff can have late life in eight, his barrels of bats. Bottom of the first. And yeah, the batter now, Nico Horner. In there at the knees. For Joe Ryan, the journey is so interesting when you think of a guy who started his college career at Cal State Northridge and then ultimately transferred to a Division II school, Cal State Stanislaus. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. It was out of Cal State Stanislaus that he was a seventh-round pick by the Rays and then eventually got a chance to make his way through the Rays system and then was dealt for Nelson Cruz to the Minnesota Twins. Just misses now one and two. Out towards right center field. That gets down for a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. That is the designated hitter. Here's Nick Madrigal, good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. Ball. Misses Outside. off the play. One and oh. And the right-hander deals. Oops. That pitch gets the corner, and it's a ball to strike. Corner gets his lead at first. Nobody out. In the air, right field. Kepler makes the catch. Can't glove it cleanly. Here's a look at the Cubs lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent, and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, no, and they understand the what the job is at hand. Seiya Suzuki at the plate now. That's ball one. Man at first, one away. Pickoff throw. Corner back in on the dive. And 
And a pitch out, but no steal, and it's ball two. Runner takes off. Foul off left side. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Kepler makes the grab. Batting ball. Third base. So now it's the four hole hitter, Patrick Wisdom. Possibly thinking about home run number 100 here. He's just one shy of that milestone. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Big swing and a miss. Ahead 0-2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. The pitch. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. That one's back there. Such an incredible swing right there on that breaking ball away. Did an incredible job of keeping the hands back, letting it travel. And boy, he just hammered that. He recognized the break. And man, this guy kept his front foot down. Weight didn't transfer until the exact time. An excellent backspin to carry it over the fence. The Cody Bellinger, the next to hit, takes ball one. Center field. Buxton should have this one. Hauls it in to end the inning. Cubs had two on this homer. It's now a 2 0 ball game. Back here at Wrigley Field. Second inning set to go. Cal Farmer up to the plate now. The pitch. There's a strike. Farmer hitting fifth in today's lineup. And he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 325 in his last 10 games. Strike two. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The pitch. That misses the zone. And a count one and two. Pretty standard high 0 2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something well struck left field. And one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Cut off, throw to second. Not no. going to get him. He's in there. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. Good. We saw the numbers like coming it. into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Kepler at the plate. And a foul ball. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. Check swing. He won it. And that's strike two. in scoring position nobody out here in the second game of the series gets under and pops it up Cooper hauls it in for the out one down that is, that is, that is. The 
And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Man at second. That's off the mark, and the count is one and one. Ooh, Rusty Valentine umpiring behind the plate in this one. He has what you might call a tall strike zone, both at the letters and down below the knees. Yeah, and I'm sure that helps a lot of pitchers we see today who like to work up, down, trying to change eye levels and swing paths. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Well, the offense really struggled last night. I mean, it was awful. So I, I think picking up a run right here, that's going to get him going a little bit. Two and one now. Just missed. Oh. Late that time, it's strike two. Christian Vasquez. Tap of the zone, and it's called a strike. One out, the runner at second. Here at the top of the second. And a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. The punch out there. That's out number two. Well, even if you don't feel great about it, you've got to swim the bat with two strikes in this situation. You've got the tying run out there in scoring position. Just put the ball in play. Maybe something good will happen. It just didn't look like he understood the situation. Here's Trevor Larnick. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0-1. If you're going to be a championship type of ball club, you've got to hit with runners in scoring position. And after last night's struggles, I'm sure this team is chomping at the bit to have this kind of opportunity here early in this game. And he deals. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Santana on its second with two down. Run chase that time. Got him looking. Inning over, and it could have been worse. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Cubs two and the Twins one. Here at Wrigley we Field, go, we head to the bottom of the second. Now here is Dansby Swanson. Swanson, former first round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Vanderbilt player in college, college World Series player, all that good stuff, but really coming into his own. Righty delivers. Inside just missed. And 
and here it comes. There's a swing and a drive. Boxley ranges back. Go crazy, folks. Go crazy. It's a home run. He flexes his power with that swing. His 16th homer of the year. And they tack on to their lead. It's 3-1. He really needed that swing. He hasn't been getting a ton of results at the plate lately, so I'm sure that one felt especially good. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. That one pushed to the left and foul. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone, and it's one and one. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Popped up. Calls it in, and there's one away. Well, oh, that's a frustrating into the at bat for the hitter right there. I mean, that pitch was right down the middle. I think he got a little too excited, came out of his mechanics, and instead of driving that ball somewhere, he popped it up. Unfortunate for him. Jan Gomes batted with one down, takes a strike. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Pulls it in for the out. Two away down. Batting nine. The first base. Two outs, bases empty. Garrett. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. No. And ball one. Well, I think okay. he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. Kicks and fires. That's the ball. That's inside. Okay. And now 3-0. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. There's a strike. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Two outs. Swings through that one out in front that Come time. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Two outs. 
Swing and a miss as he was out front. A one two count, all he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. Pitch. Line drive and makes the play, and that's out number three. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now a 3 1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And we're back on to the third inning. This is Willie Castro. Willie Castro. The lefty fires. That one lifted to left. Pat heads towards it. And there's one down. Up next is the win. And here comes Carlos Correa. All for one with a fly out to center. And that one fouled off. The Twins down by a pair. We're here in the top half of inning number three. There's a swing and a miss. Oh, it's him. Smoked on the ground a second. That takes care of Correa. Now got it. Third base. Edward Julian. And now for the Twins, Edouard Julien. And first offering is fouled off. The Twins trailing by two here in the second game of the series. Two down, nobody on. Off the, the plate, now one and two. One ball. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to. Now that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Twins retired in short order, and it remains a 3 1 ball game. Friendly confines as we go to the last of the third. Now it's the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. Ryan back to work. The wind of the pitch. Hard hit, right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Now, now got it. Third base. Patrick. Wisdom. Patrick Wisdom, the next cup to hit. He's already homered here in this one. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And a pop up right side, foul territory. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there are two down. This is important. If he can go one, two, three no, here, it would be a very no, positive no, sign for no, him no. and for his team. Bellinger. Two outs, base is empty. Cody Bellinger, the next cup to hit. He's 0 for 1. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. A 
A little out front there as he swings oh, through it. Another 0 2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Oh. Next one just misses. And the count is 1 and 2. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Popped up under this one. Corrals it. And that'll do it. Cubs are down quietly, but they still lead it 3 1. And welcome back to the ballpark as we go to the top of the fourth. Now the cleanup hitter for Minnesota, Byron Buxton. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. And that's down it away. Well, these twins showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. The 2-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a pitch. And another ball. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Swing and a miss struck him out. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner win. But two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Kyle Farmer, the next twin up to hit. That one, one not close. Okay. Ball one. One down, base is empty. Pitch two misses. No two balls, no strikes. Not a lot of people know this, but this isn't the only Wrigley Field in MLB history. You know, when the league expanded and added the Los Angeles Angels in 1961, they played their first season at a stadium in L.A. called Wrigley Field, which had been the home of the minor league team of the same name. The Cubbies leading by two, top half of inning number four. Okay. And now the count filled up three and two. Okay. Battling here as he fouls it away. And that one hammered way back there. And it's off the wall. Around first and hustling for second. The throw is wild and it gets away. And he'll reach second with one away. Just about got it out of here down the line to left. So I'm sure he wishes he could have put a little more behind it, but he's got to feel good about that missile off the wall. So man aboard. Now batting Max Kepler. He popped out his first time. And that one pulled foul. Here's your one. And there's a foul ball. That misses the zone. And that is ball one. At the belt, the fires. 
And that's off the inside edge. Two balls, two strikes. Farmer, the runner at second with one away. That one ripped. Bellinger going back. And it's off the wall. The run comes in from second. It's 3-2. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Next is the DH, a switch hitter, Carlos Santana. First pitch misses. Runner at second here, one gone. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. He pulls into second as a run scores on the play. He has had such a good day today. I think he's going to want to leave when it's over. Couple of doubles today for the DH. Here's Christian Vasquez. Caught looking his first time up. Ball one, no strikes. Man at second. Oh. Pitch misses inside, and it's two and one. One out, and a runner at second. And that one fouled off. Two and two. Right through there. And there's two away. Most guys are very aggressive when they see the stakes out there on the base paths and can't understand why he wasn't ready to swing the bat. You've got to be ready to swing the bat in a situation like that with the go-ahead run in scoring position. Larner oh, stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Inside, just missed. Love how this guy grinds out at bats. I mean, he's down there at the bottom of the lineup in the nine hole, but he's worked himself into a really good hitter's count, trying to pick up a two-out RBI. Kicks and deals. Off the mark there, ball three. Willie Castro, next to bat for Minnesota. Man on second, two down. And ball four to a board. Well, just came apart right there. A four pitch walk, and the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of his own. Back to the leadoff spot in the Twins lineup. And here's the Twins leadoff guy, Willie Castro. This is again five in a row. Activity in the bullpen. Ben Brown preparing to come on if needed. Wings, fouls it off, and he breaks his back. Next one misses, and a count to and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on, probably a challenge pitch coming. And he deals. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Makes the catch in and over. They get two and draw even again. We're midway in the fourth, all tied up at three apiece.
o'clock, we the time on the clock. You been here wasting my time, boy, you need to stop. Ask me 21 questions going back and forth. Thank you. Back here at Wrigley go, Field, bro. here's the shortstop at the play, shortstop. Dansby Swanson. The right-hander back to work. Down the middle for a strike. Going one. You know, these Cubs do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. It's not just the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. On the ground to the left. That's a hit. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit no right there. You have no to way. expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Ian Happ up to hit. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Late swing, foul to the left. Nobody out, runner at first. Swings through that one for strike two. Move to first. Swanson back easily. The 0 2. And a swing and a miss. One away. Just overmatched on that fastball right there. And it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. Here's Jan Gomes. Flips the corner. And that's strike one. No ball. One strike. The pitch. Just the off the on. inside edge. Double play ball to second, flips it, there's one, and that's two. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We played four, all tied up at three apiece. Here at Wrigley Leading Field, off, off we go to the top of the, the fifth. Shot. Here's Carlos Correa. And a pitch. Correa huh. measures six feet, four inches, 220 pounds, and he's a former Rookie of the Year. Well, these twins showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. The starter's pitch count is high because they've worked the count full against him five different times. Their pitch selection's been off the charts today. Cooper takes it himself, one away here in the fifth. Now back, now back. the third base here. Edward. Edward Julien digs in now. A strikeout and a walk. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. On the ground to third. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Just a good job putting the ball in play and then busting down the first baseline, beat the throw pretty easily. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Runner out at first with one gone. And here is Byron Buxton. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One and oh.
This is one of those situations the infielders have to pre-plan and understand that the ball's got to be hit extremely hard right at them if they're going to have a chance to go for a double play. Julian leads off first with one away. Good eye in that spot. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. The pitch. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. Goals. Makes the grab. Two down. The bat. The, bat. the first base. Kyle. Kyle. Farmer. And next for Minnesota, Kyle Farmer. On, Runner on the go. Strike right. in there. Goals. Right. Too late with the throw. Safe. Two outs is a great time to try to steal second, especially when you have a guy with some wheels on first. Defense probably knew it was coming, but figured we better focus on trying to get this hitter out. Good eye right there. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. Runner at second, two down. High fly ball out towards left field. Out of here! That should get the dugout going. And now they're out front. It's 5-3. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments and right there made a statement big time. Clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Now at the plate, Max Kepler. That one fouled off. Two outs. Foul ball. Here's the 0-2. One ball, ball. One there. Two down, nobody on. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. But the Twins bring in two on the homer. It's now a 5-3 ball game. The general better fall back, put your hands up. It's a new sheriff in town. Everybody Garrett Cooper getting ready to hit. The first base is Garrett Cooper. to kick the pitch that ball misses one. ball one well after putting up a nice inning on offense got some runs across this is where you look for the starter to go out there have a shutdown inning don't give that other team any hope uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning get the bats back up there while they're hot That's next offering upstairs you know these Cubs doing a good job of putting the ball into play and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's 
good discipline right there. And on top of it, they're producing more than a hit per inning. And there's the automatic. All those numbers mean this offense is really making the defense work by just putting the ball into play. Anything can happen at that uh -oh. point. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't go, even go. much to think about. Oh, no. Here's the go one. Did he go? Yes, he did. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Farmer. Quick feed to second for one. Out on the You're toss to the pitcher. It's a 3-6-1 double play. The 3 6 one double play, in my opinion, is one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first, and the middle infielder throwing into a moving target. Everything has to be perfect, and right there, they made it look pretty easy. Nick Madrigal, the next cup to hit. Now fly ball to right center. Kepler heading to the alley. Snags it on the run. And that's the inning. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Carl Edwards Jr. He last pitched two days ago. the Minnesota designated hitter, Carlos Santana. And a pitch. That's a little bit low. Now one and one. One and one. Right-hander kicks deals. Caught him looking for the K. Here's Christian Vasquez, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. And that's outside. And that's ball one. The Cubs bullpen with some action. Yancy Almonte up and throwing for manager Craig Council. Lighter getting loose as well. Base is empty one away, and we're in the top half of the sixth. Oh. Just off the inside edge. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. and oh. That's Ooh. through there for a strike. Next pitch is inside. And now three and one. And a foul ball. Three, two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Larnick in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. And no. yeah, there's a ball. Two balls. No strike. High 
High fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center. That's back. And it's into the bleachers. Out of here. A gigantic blast. His ninth homer of the year, and they add to the lead. It's 6-3. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot. It can be pretty dangerous when you fall behind in the count 2-0. You've still got to try to find a way to keep that hitter off balance. Well, he wasn't able to do it there. And the hitter did a nice job of turning that pitch around, not missing it in a hitter's count. Willie Castro, the next twin up to hit. Swings through that one for strike one. No ball, one strike. Righty to the plate. On the ground, and foul ball. Out to short. Tosses to first. That ends the frame. Minnesota solo shot extends the lead. And they've doubled up now. It's 6-3. Friendly confines, bottom of the sixth inning. So up now for Chicago, Seiya Suzuki. Ryan back to work. Ground ball, left side. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a throw, and they come away without an out. Next to him, Patrick Wisdom. He's already homered in this game. They have a strike in there. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Well, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Next pitch is outside. And a good eye there. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed. You know, getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game, and sometimes from a bat to a bat. And ball. another ball. Right. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Oh, oh, good plate right. appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, we've seen this recipe cook up a big inning plenty of times. Two runners on, nobody out, and they're the heart of their order. It's just a great opportunity to put up a quick number. Here's Cody Bellinger. That's hard hit on the line. And Bellinger is out. Runner tags at second. And he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. What away. Two on, one out. Dansby Swanson, the next cup to hit. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And you played behind guys, and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. That pitch gets the inside corner, and a count one and one. The shortstop takes the ball. Hogan, the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does.
Here's a 2 2. Got him swinging. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. Rip, but it curls foul. Plate here in the bottom of the sixth. That one misses, and it's one and two. change in this spot. Joe Ryan will depart and will be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Brock Stewart takes over on the mound and he's been hit pretty hard at times this year so he's looking for better. Right now giving up more than a hit per inning. So runner at second, two down. Now it's Jan Gomes. And Boog, I'd say he's due. That one missing inside. With the go-ahead run at the plate, here in the second game of the series. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Man at second. And that one lifted in the air center field. Buxton moves under it. Brings it in. And the inning is over. But they'll pick up a couple runs here. Both coming on this two-run double. It's tightened up a bit at 6-5 now. You're dialed into the show. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Yancy Almonte. Well, he struggled quite a bit, so this is another opportunity to get on the right track. He's given up more than one hit per inning pitch so far this season. Now Correa up to him. And here it comes. Oh. And ball one. One ball, no strike. Right oh. through there for a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Chopped left side. To first. That's the first out at the top of the seventh. Edouard Julien, the next twin up to hit. One for two. Now a screamer into the outfield. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. 
in safely. It's a double at his second hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. One out, runner at second. And now, Byron Buxton. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And he pumps it a strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Hammer, base hit. Around third. Here's the throw to the plate. The tag, and he's safe. Picks himself up an RBI. Nice line drive to the post side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. So up next, Kyle Farmer. Can't forget the two-run shot he launched out of here in the fifth. Yeah, one of the biggest swings of the game, Boog, as he looks to make even more of an impact in this at bat right here. One finds the zone. It's 0 1. The pitch. And a foul ball. Right handed reliever. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two down. So up next for Minnesota, Max Kepler. One for three. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Well, if he's going to steal second. You want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the One pitch. That's down and in. Throw over to first. But it's wide of the bag and gets away. Two outs. Swings and misses. And the count one and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Next pitch is downstairs. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, Get yourself in the scoring position. Carlos Santana waiting for a turn at the plate. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Throws it with a backdoor slider. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Twins seven and the Cubs five. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now, Garrett Cooper. The pitch. Gets him to chase after that one. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Griffin Jacks, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Oker warming up as well. Oh one one now. Wouldn't That's chase that time. One one. Nothing but curveball so far in the at bat. Kind of makes it difficult as a hitter to know what to look for because you start wondering if they'll keep coming with it or if they'll try to speed you up. 
next offering is downstairs. He deals. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Pop up here, third base side. Puts it away for the out. One away. Now that second base. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. And next for the Cubs, Nico Horner. And a foul ball. The Twins holding on to a two-run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Castro has a beat on it. He's got it, and there's two away. Number one, Nick. And here's the DH Madrigal. for the Cubs, Nick Madrigal. That one finds the zone. Strike Double. one. One strike. Late with the swing there. More and more guys are looking to slog regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Two down, nobody on. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And that's the third out. Nothing happening there for the Cubs. They're down two, seven to five. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Hector Neris. He's pitching on two days rest. Now it's the Twins DH, Carlos Santana. And a pitch. Neris in his 10th season he features a four-seam fastball a splitter a sinker and he works in a slider right he delivers and it's fouled away and the right hander deals and down on strikes and that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Christian Vasquez the hitter three strikeouts already he's over three and that's in there at the knees for a strike meanwhile activity in the bullpen Julian Merriweather up and throwing for manager Craig Council Lighter also throwing. One down, base is empty. Oh. And that's off the inside edge. One ball, one strike. Oh. Just missed. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the eighth. Three-two now, and a foul ball. He stays alive.
Three and two. Payoff pitch. Hey. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. No one that they can miss the bat. I'll tell you what, that's huge. It can change the ball game. I got at least infinity flaws. Abstract. Immediately Ooh. pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. That one drifts inside. Here comes a pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two outs. In the air, out to center. Bellinger makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Griffin Jacks. This guy's a strike thrower. He's done an excellent job of avoiding walks so far this season. You could encounter the great so you could get shipped and counter the great. Three, four, five do up for the home team. And now the right fielder, Seiya Suzuka. And he deals. Fouled off. He was late. Pitch. Nope. Ball one. One ball. One strike. Oh. And that's in the dirt. When you get to this part of the order, yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if you will. Hi. On the Ooh. corner for a strike. It's two and two. Two and two. Through it, and that's a strikeout. The third baseman, number 16. Patrick Wisdom, the next cup to hit. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. The Twins trying to protect a two-run lead here the bottom half of the eighth inning. What? Next offering is down low. One, one. Now one hit to right. Drop steps, heads back on it. Nabs it. Two down. Up next. Uh, uh, up Bellinger up to hit. Clips the corner. Strike one. Late the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. That one missed. Left-hand hitter waits. Swings through that. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Cubs are down quietly. And they're down seven to five. 
We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Julian Merriweather. Well, he's been a bit of a wild card out there in terms of throwing strikes. He's definitely struggled with free passes this year. Willie Castro now at the plate. The second base. Willie Castro. The pitch. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Just missed. One ball, one strike. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And there's the strike. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. He seems to have lost a little bit of focus on executing that pitch right there, not staying through the target, and clearly not the release point. Correa at the plate now. That's ball one. Runner at first with no outs here. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. That one catches the zone, and a count two and one. And that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. And Correa retired. And there's one down. Now back the third baseman, Edward Julien. Man at first, Edward Julien. The next to hit. Moved to first, and he's back in there. First offering, and it just misses. Castro stands at first with one out. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and deals. Runner on the goal. Pitch misses in. Throw to second and great jump. Swings through that one. Inside move to second. Oh, they got him leaning. He's out. Great job by the defense executing that daylight play perfectly. It's such a timing thing, and that middle infielder and the pitcher have to be on the same page, and it's got to be a good throw. Nice job right there. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. Chopped out in front of the plate. Over to Cooper, and the inning is over. Nothing across here this half. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the night. It's the Twins seven and the Cubs five. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Yoan Duran. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boone. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Duran, a former All-Star, he features a four-seam fastball, a splitter, and he occasionally uses a curve. Oh. And a strike right through there. That one at triple digits. And a pitch. Foul ball there. And now it's one and two. 
a little bit low. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Pitch misses there, and that's ball three. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fights it off, you'll see another. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball. Really locked him off, man. It's a hitter. It's not typically what you're looking for. You're trying to protect away and then in. So you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes. Hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it would be called a ball. But either way, that's a really nice pitch. Half now at the plate as he swings through strike one. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. And that one is in for a strike. Strike three, got him with the backdoor breaking ball. Now well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard okay, not okay. to feel defeated. No. And this is going to go quickly. No. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. One out left for the Cubs. Jan Gomes, the next Cub to hit. And that one fouled off. And there's a foul ball. Two run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That finishes the evening's action. Well, this was a fun game all the way around. We saw plenty of action. 12 runs total on the board, but a pretty close finish at the end. A 7-5 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Don't be timid when you die. Love a bum. Leave it. So I don't want no baby. Like you said, it's all about the spicy, baby. Jump up on this. I guess that's why you like it, baby. Come and get this. Takes a lot to inside me, baby. Give it all you got. I'm a dub boogie, baby. Get the rice right. It's all about the spicy, baby. Jump up on this. I guess that's why you like it, baby. Come and get this. Takes a lot. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious win, seven runs on ten days. No errors. They left five hundred.